Hi, welcome to In and Around Computer. In this video, we are going to see what is an internet and how the internet works and also the difference between the internet and the web. And see what forms the internet from the scratch. When two computers need to communicate, you will have to link them either physically or wirelessly. This uh, two computers A and B are connected. Uh, in this video, we are showing the physical connection or wired connection. Same will be applied to the wireless connection also. And this uh, A and B, when they are connected, they form a simple network. But a network is not limited to two computers, only two computers. You can connect as many computers as you wish, but it gets complicated quickly. That is, if you are trying to connect 10 computers, you need 45 cables with 9 plugs per computer. So it becomes complicated when uh, it involves a more number of computers. To solve this problem, that is to solve this uh, complex network, the internet, uh, that is the building blocks of the internet will not have this messy network or complicated network. Instead, this uh, internet will have, that is uh, building block we can say, this has a, sim a, small, a special tiny computer called a router that makes sure that the message sent from a given computer arrives at the right destination computer. So, so to send a message from uh, um, to a computer B, this computer A must send the message to the router which in turn forwards the message to the computer B. So once we add a router to the system, our network of computers uh, only record 10 cables. So uh, if, uh, since we are adding to the uh, uh, special tiny computer called router that will make sure the message sent from a given computer uh, will reach the particular destination so this um, form a uh, uh, this have a network of um, high uh, 10 computers form a higher network so with you using a router so this internet is having uh, uh, a ti special tiny computer called a router as its building block. So we can move further how this internet is built further. And, but what about connecting hundreds, thousands or billions of computers? Now we have connected. Uh, first we saw when we connect uh, only two computers, then we moved to 10 computers. Then what about connecting hundreds, thousands, billions of computers? Of course, uh, this single router can't scale that far. So what we are going to do is right, we are uh, connecting two routers together. So we can connect more computers which can form a network of networks. So what we are going to do is we can uh, now we are going to connect uh, two routers which are connected with uh, many computers. So you are connecting the routers which can form much a larger network without any complexity. So by connecting uh, computers to routers, then routers to routers, we are able to scale infinitely. See that uh, we are connecting here uh, routers to routers and then which in turn is uh, connected to many computers, we can scale the network infinitely. So like this, the uh, internet is uh, uh, built, that is uh, the internet uh, consists of uh, billions and uh, thousands of computers which are connected together like this. So such a network comes very close to what we call the internet, but we are missing something. That is, we have now uh, connected uh, routers to routers, and then to uh, the, when then we com connected computers to the routers to form a larger network. But uh, when uh, you have some networks of your um, friends, neighbors uh, in the rest of the world or uh, somewhere far, is it uh, we have to uh, 
uh, have an infrastructure that is already built to reach the uh, farther places that is we already have this telephone infrastructure so this telephone infrastructure already connects every part of the world so it is the perfect wired connection we already have so we can this internet makes use of this uh, good connections to uh, reach the other part of the world or the farther part of the world so we can see how this uh, internet uh, infrastructure using uses this uh, telephone infrastructure so to connect our network to the telephone infrastructure we need a special piece of uh, equipment called a modem this modem turns the information from our network into information manageable by the telephone infrastructure and vice versa so like this the uh, routers are connected to the telephone infrastructure using a special equipment called modem now we have done with uh, we are connected to the telephone infrastructure along with the uh, routers which are connected to the computers so now we can uh, reach any part of the world using this uh, telephone infrastructure or uh, with using the modem so like this the internet is uh, built which uh, comprises of billions of network which are connected like this the next step is to send the messages from our network to network we want to reach and to do that we will connect our network to a internet service provider this is a company that manages some special routers that are linked together and can also access other internet service providers routers so the message from our network is carried through the network of isp networks to the destination network so this is the thing that is done that is uh, from the message from other part of the world that is a uh, message from you will travel to a friend on the other part of the network using this uh, isp networks which is a company that manages some special routers that are linked together and also access other isp routers in such a way all the computers are linked using this uh, routers modems and the internet service providers so like this the internet is built so as a conclusion we can say this uh, internet consists of this whole infrastructure of network so now if you want to send a message to a computer you have to specify which one you want to send so for does any computer linked to a network has a unique address that we are we call it as ip address and this is an address made of a series of four numbers separated by dots so since these uh, ip addresses are uh, difficult to use this is named with an a human readable name called the domain name so this google.com is the domain name used on top of the ip address uh, for, that is 142 point for example so using you uh, so using the domain name is the easiest way for us to reach a computer over the internet hope you have understand understood something about the uh, internet and how we identify a network uh, or a computer over the internet and uh, now we move on to the uh, difference between the internet and the web this that is uh, when we browse the web with the web browser we usually see the domain name uh, that is you we use usually use the domain name to reach a website so uh, does that mean the internet and web are same thing so no as we saw the internet is a in technical infrastructure which allows billions of computers to con to be connected all together uh, among those computers some computers will be web servers which will send messages intelligible 
uh, to the web browsers. So this uh, web is nothing but the web servers that uh, gives information to the uh, that is uh, needed messages to the uh, web browsers. So um, that is as a conclusion we can say the internet is an infrastructure whereas the web is the service built on top of this in uh, big infrastructure. Subscribe to my channel if you feel contented.